The Ministry of Roads and Highways, with support from the European Union on May 18th, held a groundbreaking ceremony to commence the rehabilitation of some 670 kilometers of feeder roads in the Upper West region. The 35 million euro intervention is aimed at improving interconnectivity between areas of farm production and market centers in the region. This is to reduce the travel time on these sections of the road, promote road safety, and strengthen the institutional management of the transport sector. Barely a week after the commencement of the project, the chiefs and some residents in the Sisala East, Wa East, and Sisala West districts are unhappy at being excluded from the project. At a press conference held in Tumu this morning, the residents said the three districts were the food baskets of the region and therefore should have been considered first. The current state of the road infrastructure in the region shows, without any doubt, that the excluded districts are the most deprived in that regard. When it comes to food production too, the excluded districts produce the bulk of stable foods. Here we are talking about maize, granules, and soya in the region compared to others. Sadly, however, no single road in any of our communities has been included in the above program. It is against our total exclusion from a program who should have taken our area as a priority that we make our present petition. Our petition is not aimed at discrediting any community which has been selected to benefit under the program, but to make a point for our inclusion in the program. Thank you. We, the chiefs and smallholder farmers inhabiting the Wa East, Sisala East, Sisala West, and the Lambusia districts of the Upper West region, are of the opinion that our exclusion from the program is unfair and inequitable, having regard to the existing road infrastructure situation of the region. The residents gave a two-week ultimatum to the road ministry to either include them in the EU-funded road project or come out with an aggressive program that would address the poor roads situation in the three districts. We hereby demand on the principle of transparency and accountability that the Ministry of, the ministry of Roads and Highways to publish the selection criteria that form the basis for the inclusion or exclusion of beneficiary districts under the EU funded 670 kilometers farm access rules project. Two, we further demand that in the spirit of fairness, social justice and non-discrimination, which are cardinal principles in the Ghanaian constitution and values shared by the EU, a reprioritization and selection of the farm access rules be done based on production levels. Reporting for City News, my name is Latif Mahama, Tumu.